Hey everyone, welcome back to Resident Evil for the PC HD remaster. I like the idea of starting off each episode in one of these safe rooms. I find it incredibly soothing and it is kind of a de-stressor for the horrors that we're about to face outside. What is this that we found? <laughs> I was just clicking and we found special instructions for the disposal of dead bodies. We have new information regarding those beings. They may appear to be dead, but in fact, they are able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, there are two known methods to, create, to cease their resurrection. One, incineration. Two, destruction of the head. If further methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. Meanwhile, to those of you who still have the will to live, oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. You'll need something to light it with, which you'll need to find by yourself. Okay. So we can destroy the head or burn them and that will stop them from getting back up. But I wonder if that's why we've picked up the oil. Alright, map was... no. Map was right button. Okay, so where do we want to go next? Probably that gray door. We're going to head towards that, that gray door just west of us. Let's grab this herb. Now that we have a relatively clean inventory, I say that, but we don't. Do we just go drop this herb back in the storage box? I think we do. We already have the mixture of the two herbs. We'll, car we'll carry that with us. But we'll drop this single herb back off here. So that means that, well, like that guy's probably not actually dead. The doorknob looks like it's ready to fall apart. Go through it anyways. So once I go out here, that means that I'm probably not coming back this way. Hmm. And we really don't know when we're going to find another storage box. Should probably bring more ammo, but we're just going to go with it. I could probably be screwing us over in some really meaningful way, but where does this take us exactly back out here? And then we're just going to go around the... Oh, shit. Oh, that's great. You can't really, like, aim, by the way. Your ability to control the aim is, like... Very limited. We could probably put a whole clip in this guy, and it wouldn't do a whole hell of a lot. Unless we just get super lucky with the handgun and get a headshot, which is probably not going to happen. Spencer family emblem is carved into the doorknob. So we're just going to avoid that guy for now. Uh, we're wasting our ammo. Once we get something like a shotgun, we'll be able to take them out a little bit more effectively. But right now, I'm just not seeing the point in using the handgun on them much at all. We're just wasting ammunition! Well, shit. This is not a good look. That didn't get us anywhere we wanted to be. It looked like we needed something to go in that slot. And I probably should have, I probably should investigate that. Um, obviously we're not going to be able to do much about the dog, but we probably need to find out what opens this door. The dog seems easy enough to avoid. There's something written in the indentation. I'm glad this pauses the outside game world so the dog can't attack us while we're reading this. The Defiler of the Accursed Coffin. So once we take out the thing that's going to come out of that coffin that we saw, Oh no! Shit! 
Fuck off, dog. Okay, is he ever gonna let go? Well, that didn't help. I see I talk shit about how easy they were to avoid. Can't ever talk shit about the dogs. Alright, we know we got this guy. Emblem, emblem of armor! Hello! That's the Spencer family uh, thing. Now wait, where where is this taking us? I guess it doesn't matter. It gets us away from this guy for a moment and we'll check the map. Okay, we got right back in here. Even though it said the doorknob was going to fall off. That is a little weird. Let's go up. How's our health? We're not doing it too great. And then up here, we have uh, the door at the other end we can check out. This guy's going to get up at some point. I love the anticipation of the load screens. If you never have had to deal with load screens in your lifetime, it probably really annoys you. But that's the time it used to take for a room to load. Actually, it took a little longer than that. Uh, okay, great. That's great. Let's go ahead and pick up another one of these greens. And what we're going to do is we're going to combine the red and the green. Okay, perfect. And I'm contemplating running this back to our storage. Wouldn't be too hard to do. It's a little tedious, but I think it's worth it. You really want to keep your inventory space available as much as you can. You never know when you're going to come across a shotgun that's going to take up two slots. Ah, uh, peace. Should we, should we use an ink ribbon and save? Now remember, if we don't use an ink ribbon and save, we lose all the progress since we started. So it might be a good idea. We have plenty of ink ribbons, so I think I'm going to go for it. I'm tempted to stash the sword key, but... The survival knife. When am I using this exactly? Do we know how to use the survival knife? We can't jam it into their heads, so... Do I get this out of my inventory? I think that's the right move, honestly. Old boxes and step letters lie neglected. Okay. Thank you for the flavor text. I like how it keeps track of how many times you've saved. We've saved three times now. I'm sure that's some kind of achievement. People go for like a zero save run. We're not, we're not doing that, if you haven't noticed. Now I feel a little bit better. The dark forest stretches as far as your eye can see. There don't seem to be any houses in the area. An unlit fireplace. And what looks like a bunch of empty, empty bottles of wine. A picture of a paltry... Oh, <laughs> paltry. Picture of a partly built mansion. So probably a picture of this mansion. It looks an awful lot like the one you're in now. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well. It's locked. An emblem of a helmet is carved into the lock. Where does it leave us exactly? Okay. So we have the one other door we can investigate at the far end. Surprise, there's no other items or anything to find in here.
There's no knob on this door. You can't get through. Well, shit. Hmm. So we can't go anywhere else up here. Unless we find something. We don't currently have any knobs. We could go back over into the west wing of the mansion. That is definitely something that we could do. Although we have a room with a blue door to the east of us that shows in progress. We have two rooms that still show as in progress, which means there's something in there that we haven't discovered or done. It's going to fall off at any minute. Yeah, one of these times we're going to use this and it'll be the last time we can get out one way or the other. That's probably what it's telling us. Okay, so yeah, let's head over to these rooms that we have neglected. Basically, it's that we have not searched them thoroughly, I guess. Or we have not interacted with something in the room that we can interact with. Whether that be an item or a puzzle. Okay, this is the shotgun room. Yeah. Okay. That was the point of getting to the storage chest and making space in our inventory was so we can come back here. Um, I think. There are traces of something burnt here. An acrid smell permeates the air. Even the text is slow. It's interesting. Pictures, stands, and bronze statues. Oh, you can hit A again and it will speed it up. Nothing of interest here, though. A well-polished silver pitcher. Okay, if we take this, odds are something awful happens, but... Will you take the shotgun? Oh yeah, sure, let's take the shotgun. It's gonna be great. We got a shotgun, guys. Aren't you happy now? For the moment that we have this, which won't be long, let's equip it and just admire us with a shotgun. It's Jill with the shotgun in the study. Okay, perfect. Let's just keep it equipped for a minute for giggles because I have a feeling that it's not gonna let us keep it for very long. That seemed far too easy. Yeah. Give us control back. Oh, oh bullshit. God. What did I do now? Wesker! Barry! Help! Jill! You in there? Barry? Get me out of here! The door's jammed! Stand back! <clears throat> Come on, boy! Okay, we might actually get to keep the shotgun, guys. Oh, Barry, he just pulled us out. Good job, Barry. Barry's the man. <clears throat> Have I said that? Barry. That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. <laughs> that's really? that's the meme. Thanks. Now I understand the Jill Barry, sandwich didn't meme. Did you say you were going back to the <laughs> dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Hmm. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. Yeah, you're a little sketch, but thanks. I owe you one. Don't mention it. All right. What a great guy. All right, we got a shotgun now, guys. It's a game changer. We gotta go and investigate this other room, though. Now, just because we have a shotgun doesn't mean that we need to be firing off rounds all willy-nilly. We are gonna need every shot we got. So, also something in here that we just, we've been in here probably, but have not explored it, I guess, thoroughly enough. Something. Oh, look, you're on the other side of the fence. 
Oh shit. Not anymore, he's not. He's not. Is he dead? Is he dead now? I think he's dead now. We stabbed him in the side with a defensive weapon, which did not kill him, but stopped him. Look at all this. Look at all this fine loot. Yeah. There's some kerosene out here, too. But your fuel canteen is already full. Yeah. This is an incredible uh, amount of herbs. It's almost worrisome when a game gives you this many resources. So this, these mixed herbs are like pretty powerful. They're a pretty powerful heal. That's why I'm mixing them. Uh, red also gets rid of poison, I believe. I'm gonna leave the rest of these. And we're just gonna understand where they're at. But is there something else I need to do here? Oh, the chemical to use on plants. Okay. Yes. I wish we could use it from there. I would probably use one. A rusty cart. It's tangled in the ivy and doesn't look like it'll move. Is it still marking this because we've left items here? Or because there's like some secret that we're not figuring out? That's kind of the confusing part to me. A boiler. The humidity has caused it to rust. So we can't interact with anything else here. I think it's just telling us there are items here at this point. Let's move on. We're going to have to apparently deal with some plants at some point or something. I don't know. I don't know about the weird items we have. Chemical to use on plants. And then we have a fuel canteen, but we don't have a lighter. That was the one thing the letter said was that we'd have to figure that out for ourselves. I swear, guys, the controls are very interesting. Oh, shit! I don't trust it. I still hear the music. I still hear the goddamn music. Yeah, we don't play that way. That's why we got the shotgun, okay? Now the trick with the dogs is literally to be as patient as you can and wait till they lunge at your face. Um, yeah. Okay. Glad we got the shotgun. Good times. Things are changing in the mansion. Uh, we've been in here before, but that shit didn't happen. Something we have not explored in this next room or hallway. Yeah, it's, it's something to do with the item up here. So can't we just jump over it? Yeah, okay, here we go. This is what we needed to do. We needed to get the room to reset so we can get this up here. There's a map of the mansion first floor. Take it? Well, yeah. Okay. Interesting. So that flashes out the map for us. Very cool. So no more guessing about uh, what is going to be behind door number whatever. Now wait a minute. Okay. Well, that's useful. It's useful. Still saying unexplored. An old photograph sits in a frame. Maybe this person was connected to the mansion somehow. 
I don't know. An eerie picture of the mansion. Like, would any picture of the mansion not be eerie? Oh, okay, a defensive item. Yeah, we need that. We just put one in the dog. Okay, this area is now clear. Um, what the f okay. This guy is enormous. I tried to get that second one out of his head, but that didn't happen, and holy crap. Okay. Why did that happen? Any particular reason? I have no idea. I don't know what triggered that. But I did not appreciate it. Alright, let's go back out. No. Barry. Oh, Jill. Got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. See you later. Ciao. Let me tell you this. If I am in a mansion full of fucking zombies, excuse me, and I have a partner who is a badass, I'm not splitting up. Um, I, I don't see how that makes any sense. I mean, it's a, it's imperative for the, for the game to move forward with the gameplay. Uh, however, I think it's retarded and not a good idea. And I would never advise you splitting up in this situation in case you ever end up in a zombie-filled mansion. Remember these words, kids. Never split the party. Wesker's off doing his own thing. We don't know where he is, and we don't know what he is doing. And we don't even know what his objectives are. What we do know is there's something in this dining area that we have yet to find. What that is, or could possibly be, I don't really know. A large filth encrusted jar. Probably not what we need. Okay, um, you can't carry any more items. Alright. That's okay. I feel comfortable with that because of how many herbs we know we have access to. Will you take the emblem? Of course I will. It's galled all around the outer edge due to frequent fitting. Okay, we have an emblem. Now, if you ask me where that goes, I'm not entirely 100%. But I have a couple of ideas. That is a loud ass clock. Okay, these are octagons. <laughs> Not here. Let's rule that out right away. And then there, there was that one hallway with the sword contraption thing that would like smush us to death if we messed with it. I think that was actually back through the dining room. Let's just check that. I need to start writing things down. When we find a door that has a specific requirement, I need to be jot jotting down uh, exactly where that is, at least generally where it is. That would make the experience a lot easier, I think, uh, than having to backtrack all over the place, waste resources and time. 
etc etc I believe it would have been down one of these sets of stairs we're at a door why am I at a door uh, we could check those stairs I actually wanted to check the other stairs first but that was just not the way we went sometimes it's oh shit Eat it. That didn't kill him. Which is unfortunate. It's an armor. I wonder if he's going to follow us down here. That would be pretty messed up. Well, we used the mansion key. So, does that mean we're accessing something new? I guess so. Does that mean we're supposed to be here? Absolutely not. We're in a kitchen. It's locked from the other side. This has nothing to do with my quest to figure out where this emblem goes. Piece of meat. Oh man, we just really need to find a storage box, guys. We are leaving shit everywhere. Herbs, now ammo. Hey, at least we replaced our dagger. Apparently that's the only way to really take things on. That guy's gonna get up. Power doesn't seem to be working. Okay, so we can rule this area out for now. We don't need to come down here until we fix the power. Apparently. Uh-oh. We've triggered something. We have one shotgun round left. Oh, we're fucked. I don't understand why she just occasionally loses her nerve. Yes! Okay. Yeah, we needed that. Alright, well. That shit's done. We are out of ammo. Alright. See, Jill? Don't lose your nerve. Just point the gun and pull the trigger. They move slow as... They move slow. Okay, let's just admit it. They're not quick moving. They're not even really, like, walking dead quick. They're, like, incredibly old school slow right now. Okay. I don't really want to deal with you, but I'm going to have to get by you nonetheless. I'm interested that that in the hall, in the dining hall, it's still it's still red as if we have something there yet to discover. Let's get by this guy. Bye bye. Let's keep going. I think I just went through a door I didn't want to go through, maybe. Maybe not. We could be on the right track. Yeah, okay, here we go. Um, yeah. Yeah, the birds are out. Guys. Birds are out. Birds are loose. It's not good. It's not good. This is also not leading me where I thought it was. So... There's that. Maybe down these stairs straight ahead. Don't get up. Aha. Okay, yeah. This is where I wanted to check. I want to see if the emblem goes here. No, it's a damn key. Whoever takes this emblem... What if we, like, replace it? No, it's 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 a special shape. We have to find... So we've ruled this out. Okay. Obviously, we're not doing that. And so it has to be the thing maybe outside where the dog was that we at first evaded, but then I talked shit about it and he bit us. That's gotta be where we're headed with this um, emblem. 
which unfortunately is on the entire other side of the place. These birds, they're creepy and they're probably going to cause problems for us at some point. Just saying. Alright, no, I can go through this door right behind us. This puts us back in the dining hall, which is still flashing red as if there's something here for us. It did probably come from our friends, I mean, let's be real. It probably has something to do with that painting, which I don't think is going to concern us right now. I'm going to save. Just because I feel like we've done some stuff. And I don't want to lose any progress. Alright, which way do we want to go here? Alright, I see where we're heading. There's these like inner inner areas that I don't quite understand how we would get into. The music is just trying to like stress us out so bad. There's always a weird cinematic angle I expect like a cutscene to start. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, where does this go again? Does this just go back to where those, those those herbs are outside? That we don't have space for? Is that what this is? Yeah. Okay. And the damn dog is out here too. Alright. So that's not what I thought it was either. So one more, one more outside area with dogs somewhere. Okay. One day we'll learn this side of the mansion enough that I won't have to check my map 27 times to know where I'm going. We're getting there. We're getting there, but we're not there yet, obviously. This is my door. All right, let's let's drop some stuff off because uh, inventory. I I think that purse perhaps Chris starts with a bigger inventory I don't know we're gonna drop this for now because we don't have any ammo uh, the chemicals we don't really know what to do with yet this we don't really know what to do with yet the mansion key has been helpful let's hang on to it and actually like maybe I want to take the shotgun in case we find ammo I think that should be okay. Blue gemstone, I'm pretty sure we don't need that. We might as well do some combining. And 
then we can just throw the rest of the seven back in our stash. All right. Now let's go check the upstairs outside little area. I think it had to be, it had to be up here, didn't it? Not at all. What am I thinking of? Thinking, okay, go back. Oh no, it finally happened. We can't get back out this way and we need to. Sh shoot. What does that mean? Now what the hell are we supposed to do? Is there a way to like go down and around? I guess there would be. We unlocked it. Thank God for that. Must have been locked from the other side. Will you take the wooden mount? Of course we will. We'll take anything. There's nothing unusual. There's nothing unusual. There's nothing unusual. Well, guys, you heard it here first. There's nothing unusual about that wooden plank. We're just now discovering new rooms accidentally, which I think is great. I had an objective, but it didn't matter. Game appears to have ended in checkmate. I had an objective, but now we're discovering new stuff, so. Just, I want to pick up the item that's hanging out right here. Will you take the dog whistle? Crumpled memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mud is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace, and he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling, which means only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer wants hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this, of course. You'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item that you've always wanted to get a hold of, well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for both of us. John Tolman. So we're going to have to use the whistle to lure a dog. There's ammo here. Not picking it up. We'll have to remember to come back. Okay, let's go. But which way? We can go... Well, it all circles back around. Wait, I saw something. Did you see it? It was on the desk. I was like one second too late. Oh no. You had to circle around. There's no knob on that door. So strange. You'd think we'd have this novel idea of, like, propping doors open? Guys, prop doors open. Especially in a situation where you might have to run, prop a door open until you need to close it for security. Don't let it close behind you if you don't know if it's going to stay open. Botany, uses of medicinal herbs. It is a well-known fact that there exist many plants that are credited with medicinal healing powers. Since ancient times, mankind has been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we will sample three herbs that are native to the Arclay Mountains and briefly outline each of their medical qualities. Each herb has a distinct color and a distinct medical quality. The green herb recovers physical strength. The blue herb neutralizes natural toxins. However, the red herb has no real effect by itself. 
we have found that mixing green and red herbs result in a magnified effect. We will outline the effect of red herbs when mixed with other herbs when we have more data. Meanwhile, feel free to experiment on your own. For true knowledge is only acquired through experience. That's right, kids. I think everyone heard that message loud and clear. Uh, Resident Evil was clearly telling us to experiment with drugs. I think it's obvious. Oh, yes, the lighter. We picked up so many items just now that, like, I don't even know. We have a lighter, we have fuel, we have fertilizer, we have a, a, an emblem, we have a dog whistle. We have every objective item that we need, we just don't know where to use any of them. Which is not great. It just isn't great. And it's still saying there's something in this room that we have not found. I guess it's just the ammo that we didn't pick up. We are going to take a break here. This is the perfect time to take a break. We have a lot going on and a lot we need to figure out. But we also have a lot that we need to unload. Like at this point, we don't even know what we're going to come across. I could regret putting any of these in storage. Like we want to do after the emblem, I don't know if we can do that now. We have the lighter now, but we don't have the fluid. Where did that go anyway? Fuel canteen. All right, let's save. And when we come back, we will figure out a game plan. All right, guys, thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate the support. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, take care of yourselves and wish me luck. Bye now.